But now why would it be doing that, Rion? Why on earth would the squirrel be going Oh, look at that. It is Hosanna sitting in a false thorn tree and he has been hunting the squirrels. Can you just sneak forward and you'll get a look at him? There we are. Back a bit, I suppose. Huh? Well done, James. Brilliant job. Now, he was facing the other way and that squirrel came running along the branch shouting at him from some distance away and then Hosanna thought this is no good at all and turned round. And now he is eyeing the rodent, thinking that might be worth eating. And the rodent is taunting him. <laughs> now, as nimble as a leopard is, I'm afraid it cannot compare with the squirrel in a tree. And I'm sure Shongile must be around here somewhere. But this is where the squirrels have been alarm calling all morning and I drove in from the other side briefly and I couldn't see anything. And we came in here and he decided that he was going to climb the tree and see if he could kill the squirrel, which he has failed to do. So now he's pretending that he'd climbed the tree just so that he could have a rest. Oh, I think there's another one just above him. Now, I don't know if you recognize where we are. We're not far from Karula. She's, he's probably sitting only about ooh, 300 feet, 100 meters from her. I'm sure she's around here, but one of the very best sightings that I've had of Karula and these two youngsters was when Karula killed a baby Nyala, not too far from here. In fact, directly underneath where Hosanna is sitting now. And we spent the most wonderful afternoon with her and the two little ones when they were probably only about three months old. And this greedy guts here ate a huge amount of that Nyala, despite the fact that he was still suckling at the time. And we spent all afternoon watching them feeding and playing and their mum patiently looking after them. Kevin, you're wondering if Karula's still feeding them. Absolutely, she's still feeding them, not with milk though. So they weaned at around six months old and in fact they weaned much earlier than that they weaned just after three months and they've been eating meat since then but she is still responsible for feeding them we know that he has killed this chap at least a rock monitor a diker and a squirrel he's killed those three things that we're aware of which means he's probably killed much more than that and no doubt shongile has done the same so although they will definitely eat what mum provides they are making kills for themselves, which is completely normal. So they'll start killing long before they need to support themselves completely. But I suspect that were you to put this leopard into an area, a wild area, where he wasn't going to be threatened by other predators like lions and male, other male leopards, he would survive fine. He would have the requisite skills to survive on his own. And likewise his sister, in fact his sister even more so. And the reason they need to stick around mum at the moment is because they're just not quite experienced enough yet to navigate the world of other predators in an area like this. <laughs> 